Hello again everyone and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if this is your first time here. Today I'm going to be giving my review of the newest acquisition into my Spirit Halloween Zombie Baby collection, the unreleased prototype of the 2014 Zombie Baby Ratatouille. So as you can see I do have all of the other babies out and on display ready for Halloween 2022 and I was so so excited that I was able to purchase this prototype model in time for Halloween this year and now I get to share her and give you all my thoughts. So first of all a little background on this baby. So as I mentioned she was a uh, well, supposed to be a 2014 zombie baby, and uh, she actually made it all the way to having her page put up onto Spirit's website. You could actually find her, click the link, and uh, it would have her images, her description, her price, everything. Uh, it would just have the coming soon label on the page indicating that she was indeed supposed to come out that year. Unfortunately, uh, due to whatever reason, she did ultimately end up being canceled before making it to final production. Um, and as far as we know, there were uh, two prototypes, both being different sizes. There was a smaller one and a larger one. And the larger one is actually the one that I have here today. Now, I actually purchased this from another zombie baby collector. Uh, he actually owned both prototypes, both the small and the larger one. And um, we got talking and eventually came to an agreement that he would sell me the larger of the two. And that is uh, who you see right here. And I honestly am so, so, so excited to have her in my collection. Uh, you know, not only do I now have all the zombie babies that Spirit has ever released, I also have one that they did not release. But honestly, I just think that is so cool. So in terms of her overall design, she is a bigger baby. Um, put, You can kind of see next to a lot of the other babies here, she is definitely on the larger side. Um, she is definitely more akin to the size of like Angry Alice over here, or Tabletop Iris over there, or Giggles or any of those like that. She's definitely a, a bigger model. And of course she is depicted as a gray skinned little girl with black hair pulled into two little uh, tails on the side with bangs on the front. What in the world is that in her hair? <laughs> she has uh, kind of bloodshot yellow eyes. She has four little teeth in her mouth. Her mouth is stained with blood. She's wearing a pink dress with kind of a dirty white middle. And of course she is holding a still alive looking rat there with some hunks of flesh missing as her name would uh, suggest she is in fact eating it or chewing it. <laughs> so there is some deterioration on this prop, which of course makes sense because it is all the way back from 2014. Um, the head actually is a little lower than is probably supposed to be, mostly due to her neck having uh, started to kind of fall apart a little bit there. I'm obviously not gonna mess with it just because I don't want it to fall apart any further. But usually her head would be more upright and then um, when she is activated her animation would then bring it back down and i will talk about her animation in just a minute overall her design is honestly so good i really love the way she looks and it is really a shame we never got her in um mass production here as i'm sure she would have been a favorite of many many spirit fans <laughs> and one a very interesting detail that um i learned from the original owner of her is that this particular model, which is again, the bigger of the two models, actually, if I lift her dress here, she actually has legs under here. I'll turn her a bit. She actually has legs and feet underneath her dress. <laughs> and you can kind of get a look at her um, mechanisms under here, the base and the wiring and the motors and everything. But she does in fact have legs under here, which I think is actually very, very interesting. <laughs> um, I don't know why they were included, as I mean, you wouldn't really see them. Uh, where other babies like Iris up there just have a base under their dresses because you know, you don't see under there. But either way, I just think that is such a cool little design idea they had. Uh, her arms are mounted into little brackets under her dress there. And when I did receive her, both of her arms had actually unglued from the metal plates that slide into those little uh, holes there. So I did hot glue that back on. Her arms were originally down there, but I did manage to get them to 
come back up where they are supposed to be. Uh, and if you look at her leg on this side, you can actually see the little, get out of the way, Seasonal Vision 2014 uh, Ratatouille writing on her leg there. I don't know what all these little X's and slashes are, but I just think that's pretty cool that you can actually see the original markings on her indicating that she is in fact the original prototype. And there's a little sensor under her dress there. So moving on to what she does, um, she actually has a very cool bit of animation. I did already post a demo video of her on my channel. Um, if you wanna go check that out, I will link it in the description. But basically what she does is her eyes will light up red, her head, which as I said, would usually be uh, leaning upward, would actually lean down to look like she is biting into the rat. Uh, you would hear some chewing and eating noises and you would actually hear squeals from the rat indicating again that it is still alive. Uh, her head would then raise back up and she would speak uh, one of three different phrases. I love the voice that they actually use for her as well. It's this really cute little innocent girl voice, but it has such a sinister undertone. Again, if you want to hear it, uh, you can definitely go check out that demo video I posted before. Uh, one thing you will see if you watch that demo video though, is that I do have a disclaimer stating that the audio in that video is not the original audio of this prop. And that is because, fun fact, this prototype of Ratatouille actually has the wrong audio. It does not come with the original audio that this prop is supposed to come with, and instead contains the audio of the alien baby over here. <laughs> I don't know why it has the alien baby's audio. I don't know if that was a uh, placeholder audio or what, but for whatever reason, that is the audio box that she is currently programmed with. And uh, her animation is actually extended to comply with that longer alien audio, which is why in my demo, I actually just um, layered over the original audio for what she is supposed to say. So she, you could actually um, hear how she is supposed to sound. <laughs> I don't know if that makes her more valuable or what, but I honestly am not complaining just because I'm probably not gonna turn her on much because I really do not want her body to continue to, um, you know, degrade anymore. So overall, she is an absolutely fantastic prop. Again, I am so, so, so happy to have her in my collection. She is definitely, as I say, the crown jewel of this whole <laughs> zombie baby collection that I have going on here. And I don't know if in the future I will maybe see if I can acquire any more prototype zombie babies, if I happen to find any out there. Um, we'll just have to see what time will tell. But for now, she is the only one I own, but I am just so, so thrilled to be able to have her after knowing about her for so many years. And honestly, I never would have thought I would eventually have her knowing about her for years and then just randomly one day stumbling across a person who happens to have her and then acquiring her. <laughs> So that is going to be the end of this little review video of the unreleased 2014 Ratatouille Zombie Baby prototype that I have here today. I hope you enjoyed the video. Again, I will have the demo for her linked in the description below. And until next time, I will see you guys 